patch 6.2 is bringing the ability to fly in all of Draenor, including the newly released Tanan Jungle Zone. You will, however, have to actually earn the right to fly. The good news is that this is actually account-wide, so you won't have to repeat this stuff on a character-by-character -character basis. If you're watching this video before patch 6.2 releases, then worry not. You will still be able to work on most of the requirements for flight while you wait. Flying will not be enabled right off the bat in patch 6.2. Blizzard will be releasing a follow-up patch shortly after 6.2's launch to activate flying, mostly likely because the decision to allow flight was made quite late and they likely want to make sure that everything works. So to fly, you will need to complete an achievement called Draenor Pathfinder. This meta achievement will require you to do a few different things. First of all, you will have to collect 100 treasures across the planet. The good news is that this is actually really easy. Go onto curse.com and get an add-on called Handy Notes. This will essentially allow things to be displayed on your map. Then get Handy Notes Draenor Treasures. This is a plugin for the core Handy Notes add-on that will show you the locations of all of the treasures on Draenor, just on your world map. So all you need to do is hit M, look at your map, you'll see where all the treasures are, and just go out and collect them. Really simple. Another requirement is to complete the Securing Draenor achievement. This will ask you to do Apexus missions in each of the Apexus mission areas of Draenor. That does not include Tanan Jungle, though. You might be worried that completing this will require loads of RNG and waiting for the right missions to spawn from your table, but the good news is you don't actually have to. The scouting missives that are purchasable for garrison resources from your garrison resource vendor actually count towards this achievement, so you can do all of the solo ones pretty much all at once. So just talk to the vendor and then do all your remaining areas. The only downside is you will have to wait for the group missions to spawn from the mission table, Though, with 6.2 gear and high-end 6.0 gear, you'll probably be able to solo most of them with relative ease. Progress towards this achievement is not shared between characters, so you're going to have to do it on the one character. Loremaster of Draenor is another achievement that is really simple to get. All you need to do is complete the main story quests of each zone. If you are a bit lost or missing some progression, then just look at your map, and you'll see a big exclamation mark where you can pick up quests that are relevant to this achievement. You will also have to complete the Exploring Draenor achievement. This involves fully exploring each zone, and the easiest way to do this is to look at your in-game map and then fill in any parts that are still covered by the Fog of War by just going to that location. If you're using a map add-on that removes Fog of War, you'll probably want to disable that functionality or just unload the add-on while you work on this achievement. Now that that stuff's covered, well, the time-consuming bit is the requirement to raise the three Tanan Jungle reputations to Revered. Of course, you won't be able to do this until 6.2 launches. There are three different factions, and I'm going to start off with the Saber Stalkers. They are a very easy grind, however, they are going to take a bit of time because they are in the same style as Shao Hao. The mobs inside their area will give you 30 experience apiece. They can be soloed, but just do it in a group because they are elite creatures, they've got over a million health, and it's just far quicker to do it in a group. There's also a weekly quest which asks you to kill a few different summonable boss mobs. In order to summon these bosses, you will need to purchase totems from the vendors outside Fangrela. They are purchased using Sabron Claws. Now, these are items that drop from the various mobs that you'll be killing anyway for the reputation, so kill those mobs, pick up the claws, then purchase the totems to summon in the bosses to complete the weekly quest. And those bosses are summoned in a little arena and the quest will point you towards that arena. The weekly quest will give you 3,500 reputations, so it's really worth doing. There are also some rare mobs, which spawn inside the area, and these give you 600 rep apiece. Killing them is definitely worth it. And there's also a daily quest called Tooth and Claw, which asks you to kill animals inside Tanan Jungle. It does not spawn every day, but it does give you 1500 reputation with the Saber Stalker, so if that pops up, be sure to do it. Also, using guild banners will increase the rep that you get while you are actually killing those mobs, so it's totally worth doing. Now next, let's move on to the Order of the Awakened. They have a daily quest from Ashran, which is to collect 10 fell corrupted Apexus fragments. Now, to get those fragments, you just need to kill rares and collect treasures within Tanan, and honestly, 
they are spread all over the place. It's really easy to do this stuff, and you'll pretty much do this quest while you're doing your regular Tanan Jungle Apexis missions. Now, this quest will give you 1500 rep with the Order of the Awakened per day, so you will just have to grind that out. I think you also get 1000 rep from one of the Garrison campaign missions as well. Um, do bear in mind that you only have to reach Revered with these guys, so it won't take an absurdly long amount of time. Then finally, we have Vol'jin's Headhunters and the Hand of the Prophet. They are mainly a quest-based faction. The main source of reputation will be the daily quests inside Tanan Jungle. First of all, your daily Apexis mission will give you 500 rep, and then after that you will get two more quests. One of them will be to collect some items or kill some mobs, and the other one will be to do two Apexis missions in Tanan on top of the one that you've already done. In addition to that, you'll probably get a quest which is just to kill X of a mob type. You don't really have to go out of your way to get reputation with this faction, just head to your Tanan base and do all of the daily content that will spawn there. Unbuffed, you should get around 1250 reputation per day. Also, the Garrison Campaign missions do give you a bunch of rep for this faction. So overall, with these reps, getting to Revered will be quick enough, especially with the Saber Stalkers, but some of the other factions may take longer. It takes 21,000 reputation to get from Neutral to Revered, so for the Order of the Awakening, that will take about 14 days if you're only doing the quest, and for the Hand of the Prophet, it will take about 17 days of daily quests alone. However, the Garrison Campaign should cut that down to around 12 days. There is also a new item in patch 6.2 called the Medallion of the Legion, and it's going to give you 1,000 rep with all of the Draenor factions. You can get it in two ways. First of all, there is a Garrison Follower mission called Eldritch Horrors, which will give you one. And second, there are four rare boss mobs in Tanan called Death Talon, Doom Roller, Vengeance, and Terror Fist. They have a chance to drop one of these, and killing them will likely require a group of players. All of the rep numbers that I've given here are unbuffed. Having a trading post will increase your rep gains by 20% and uh, being a human will further increase those gains by 10%. So if you have a character that is a human with a trading post, then that is likely the ideal character to get these reputations done on. So in summary, just do all that stuff, and if you've met those criteria, then all you need to do is wait until patch 6.2.x, whatever the minor patch, um, releases, uh, then you'll be able to fly in Draenor. So that's basically it for the guide. I hope you found it useful, and I hope you enjoy flying once you actually unlock it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.